Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Francisco, a specialist nephrologist and transplant working at Francisco Kidney Medical Center in Singapore. Welcome to the Kidney Health and Disease video series. Today is the time for the third video of the series, which is the symptoms of inflammation of the kidneys, the so-called glomerulonephritis. We're going to talk about nephrotic syndrome, which is the excessive loss of protein in the urine leading to fluid retention. Nephritic syndrome, which is the inflammation of the glomerulus and damage to its filtering capacity. And I'm going to give you a brief note on symptoms of systemic inflammatory diseases affecting the kidneys. Let's talk about nephrotic syndrome first. Remember this slide from the first video? This is the glomerulus, the filtering sieving system of the kidney. So normally, the glomerulus try not to lose protein into the urine, otherwise you can develop symptoms of nephrotic syndrome. But indeed, a tiny amount of protein is filtered, but later reclaimed by the rest of the urinary tubes. When the patient develops nephrotic syndrome, this filtering sieving system is leaky. You can imagine it as having bigger holes. So large amount of protein can be linked into the urine. This is important because the protein, specifically the albumin, keeps the fluid inside the blood vessels where it is needed, a sort of sponge effect. So when the albumin is normal, there is only a tiny amount of fluid that can escape to the extra tissues. However, in nephrotic syndrome, the albumin can be lost to very low levels of serum albumin. So the sponge effect is lost and a lot of fluid goes into the extra tissues and the patient becomes swollen. Therefore, develops leg swelling or face swelling. The protein loss in the urine makes the urine frothy or uh, foamy. Some patients can also be prone to leg clots because together with albumin, other proteins, including cl clotting factors, can be lost, which normally keep your blood thin. Other patients can develop high lipids in the blood because also together with albumin, other proteins regulating cholesterol and other lipids are lost. Also, the patients are more prone to infections, for example, in the legs because they are swollen, but also because together with albumin, proteins important in the immune system like complement or immuno immunoglobulins are lost. So, what are the symptoms of nephritic syndrome? In nephritic syndrome, the glomerulus is more severely damaged, it's inflamed, so there is blood that goes into the urine. Also, the filtering system becomes like clot, so no, the, the kidney cannot eliminate the toxins properly, so the blood becomes dirty and also cannot eliminate fluid properly. Therefore, the blood pressure can go high. The patient also becomes swollen and the urine volume gets reduced. The blood in the urine can be seen by the patients or sometimes it's microscopic that you can only detect it in urine tests because the glomerulus is not performing the function properly, the patient can become toxic with all the symptoms we mentioned in the last video. With the loss of protein as well, the urine can become frothy. So finally, let me talk a little bit about the symptoms of systemic diseases affecting the kidneys. They are very varied. So the patients can have fever, rashes, joint pains, Inflammation of the heart, lungs, nerves, liver, gut, brain, eyes, or maybe can have bleeding or clotting problems. So they are very varied. For this, you will need to see specialists. And probably if you have any of these symptoms, you are going to see a doctor. Maybe the doctor is going to refer you to the specialist. So I hope you find this video useful. If so, please give us thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Do stay tuned for our next videos. The next one will be the main causes of kidney problems. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care. Bye-bye.